Well, boys and girls, we have made it through to the January transfer window of season two. We are very much in a promotion race for the second year in a row. So now, despite having not actually got any money to spend, we need to try and have a January that can lead to us getting promoted to the Premier League, which generally means keep hold of our best players and hope not too much damage is done. So that's the plan for this January. Right, so... This is what's been going on. I just need to familiarise myself. We had streamed this every day since the beta came out, but obviously I've been away the last couple of days, so I just need to remind myself where we're at. It looks like where we're at is maxing out attendances every week, so should we ask for a new ground? I mean, we've got no money. It's probably not the time. Let's not ask for a new ground. That's nice to see. We're in a nice little winning run. Um, there we are in the championship table, two points behind Brentford in an automatic promotion spot. Cameron Archer is turning into a superstar. Harvey White is an assist machine. Our transfers in the summer were very solid, but we have basically no money to spend going into this January. The worry is going to be keeping hold of players, not just not selling our permanent players, the likes of Ricky J. Jones, Harrison Burrows, uh, Poku. Um, who else have we got who's a young superstar that we don't want to sell? They're, they're the main ones I'm always worried about selling. But it's not just about keeping hold of those. We've also got some of these loan players who... We could do without them being recalled, like Saar, who has been fantastic for a year and a half for us now. I really don't want Spurs to recall him because we're playing him out of position, but we are playing him out of position. They keep moaning about it. Likewise, with Kessler Hayden as well. Um, we've got a few of these loanees that might be recalled and we might have to do some emergency loan shenanigans to replace them. But if we can make it through January without losing players, I will consider that a bit of a result. Cannot believe someone like that is being recommended to me. I don't think we're going to be in a position to buy him ever. The the goal now is we want a... There's two... There's only two stages there bigger than the one we were on today. And they've both got queuing systems. The new goal is we want a stage with a queuing system. That's when I know I've made it. That's a Mr. Posh game and I follow. Um, no, I watched it. I didn't, I didn't go into the convention at all yesterday. Sat in the hotel bar watching the posh match, the weirdest thing happened because me and Sheepdog were just sat there in a London hotel bar, a completely deserted London hotel bar with my laptop out, watching posh versus Cambridge on the internet. And this guy walks past holding his beer and kind of like, Dave, no, no, Dave, this way. Walks past, holding his beer and kind of slows down, does a double take. Then he's having another look again. He's like, what match are you watching? Peterborough versus Cambridge, knowing that he, no chance he's going to have any interest at all. Are you kidding? I'm a posh season ticket holder. Can I join you? And he'd been dragged down to London for the weekend as well. And he sat and watched the match with us. It wasn't until the match was over, that his wife and kid came over and said, are you done? Where he just spent like an hour and a half sat with us watching posh beat Cambridge while his wife and kid were over the other side of this hotel bar. And, uh, yeah, I imagine he uh, he absolutely got the last laugh there. He's been dragged away for the weekend with the family, had to miss the match, and still got to sit and watch it. It was fantastic. And one of the Cambridge defenders headed it into, like, the back of a different one, and it kind of came off his shoulder. So one guy heads it into the shoulder of another guy, and then it just kind of looped up into the air over the goalkeeper and into the net. And uh, that was the only goal of the game. It was a weird goal, a weird scenario. It's going to go down as a very memorable match for me because of all the weirdness around it. But yeah, we won 1-0. The guy asked if he could join us. I wasn't going to say no. I'm not a monster. I did talk to him a bit. Apparently, they've finished building a university in Peterborough, which I didn't know. He was telling me all about Peterborough. Looking forward to seeing what you thought, what, what I bought at Comic-Con. I didn't really buy anything. I've been to so many now. There's very little they can, there's very little they can get me with. I got Anna some little potions in a bottle because she likes them. My favourite thing I got I didn't pay for, which was this Persona 5 Royal photo op that I did, which was very cool. Um, I bought some almond butter from Fortnum & Mason. <laughs> I, sp I, I spent more in Fortnum & Mason than I spent at Comic-Con because I am apparently completely middle class these days. And I just really enjoyed wandering around the Fortnum & Mason Christmas section. I got Anna some pickled Brussels sprouts. I got some almond butter. I had uh, I had a Fortnum and Mason sausage roll, 
so I could do a comparison with the Harrod sausage roll I had last Comic Con. <laughs> I don't know what I've become, and I don't know when or why it happened. But apparently, I go to the most expensive shops in the world and try their sausage rolls now. This is my new thing. It'll be fine. No more, no more football manager pens for me. I'm going to treasure this one. It's the last one they ever gave me before we burnt our bridges. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. We did a football goal. Deshaun Bernard. He is a player we've had before. I will, I will take this guy. I mean, I wasn't necessarily going out looking to bring in new players. But we know this guy's good. We could use another centre-back. He can also play right-back, I think. He can also play right-back. Yeah, I mean, if Mike wants to bring him in, I am not going to argue. Right. Is Sar still here? Sar is still here. Good. Where's Bernard? There he is, look. Sat on the, sat on the bench. Ah, oh, no! I just realised we're only playing the flaming wobblers. We could have put the youth team out against this shower. Oh, what a waste of a fully fit team. Oh, well, Northampton are about to get an absolute thumping. I could book a Premier Inn for the afternoon. <laughs> Leave them in the Premier Inn while I go to the football. And then we all go to the fireworks and then come home again. So we've got nowhere for Dave to be. Northampton are beating our first team. This is not good. I will be taking the paperwork with me where it says open to all ages because Andy will have no interest in meeting the minions. Anna will have no interest in meeting the minions. Am I going to queue up and meet the minions on my own? Yes, I am. I'm going to go and meet the minions. And if they try and tell me I need a kid with me, I will be referencing this website where it says in big letters, open to all ages. I'm going to go and meet the minions and it's going to be fantastic. Kevin meets Kevin. Yeah, we'll figure out a Peter Sports match we can go and see soon. Can we score a goal here? Nope. Oh, this is disastrous. The supporter profile thing is going to be so upset that we've lost to a local rival. Our biggest and oldest rivals, Northampton, have knocked us out of the FA Cup. In this season, we're probably going to get promoted to the Premier League. This could just ruin the entire season. Right, come on, let's have the last second equaliser. Just to really upset the locals. Come on. Come on. Oh, we actually have! <laughs> oh, Northampton, you're so rubbish. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> and now we'll put the reserves out for the replay and absolutely batter them. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. Check out Whataburger here in Texas. I mean, that would be easier said than done. I, I mean, I'm not in Texas and not likely to be there anytime soon. We're 1-0 up against the Cobblers, boys and girls. We put the first team out again. We've got to deal with these upstarts from down the river. Can't even say the name of the river right. Working out if something is everywhere. If it's made it as far as Northampton, it is officially everywhere. Where's the I'm a Nut song? Um, we have a little bit of a problem with that because in order for you to hear it, it also ends up on the VOD. I can't get it to... I can't hide it the way I can the music. And uh, fussy old Chris doesn't want it in the videos on his silly little YouTube channel. So at the moment, I've not got a solution for it. I will figure one out. There is enough sugar in the mints. But like I say, I've not touched the mints since I realised how sugary they are. They're now just here to offer to guests when they enter my office. They're purely guest mints now. So when Anna comes in, she can have a mint. When Matt comes over to fix the computer, he can have a mint. If I ever get a third person who comes into this room, they can have a mint. Give the mints out for Halloween. I mean, I don't get trick-or-treaters, really. I guess if I stand here tomorrow with this window open and play loud music, I can just chuck mints out the window when kids come by. Come by. Ah, Marriott has withdrawn his request. What's the cost of your fortune? I think it's about 60p an hour to run a PC with today's prices. I mean, to be honest, my PC does never get turned off. So... I doubt it would have made too much of a difference from usual. Right, Luton Town in the FA Cup. 
We could do with getting knocked out of the FA Cup soon. We don't need the distraction. We're trying to get to the Premier League. Take me out. Do, 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 do. Ricky J. Jones. Um, what's that thing with the big metal dinosaurs? I'm still maybe 10 hours into the first one of those. Can't even remember the name of it. I'm just so far behind. I just don't have time for them anymore. Yeah, Horizon. So the first Horizon I'm about 10 hours into. I know there's another one. I've got it. I just... This is... I've got so many games to play when I retire from YouTube. <laughs> but until then, I'm just not going to get time to play them. It's the, it's the real irony of doing what I do as a job. Before I did this, I was a massive gamer who played everything. Hence, I do a gaming podcast, where now, just the act of creating content has had to really narrow down the stuff I focus my time on. So I just don't have as much time for other stuff. Remember when I was in hospital with my kidney stones, just sitting there playing through Thomas Was Alone on the Vita. And for that few hours that Jack Marriott, that's such an easy finish. What is the goalkeeper doing there? Don't be telling me that's offside. Ah, Why is that pop-up prompt such a bright blue? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was because I'm managing a team that play in bright blue, but apparently it's not. It's like that for everybody. There's a hospital in town here with a fast food chicken restaurant inside. Nice. The only food option out of Brooks in Cambridge is Burger King. Wow. That is mad. There's a retail park here. There's a Frankie Manny's, a Nando's, a Harvester, Dunkin, Taco Bell, McDonald's. And to balance it all out, a gym. Nice. Ah, oh, what's going on with our form here? We might not be going to the Premier League. I'm sad. I really want to get pushed to the Premier League. It's an annual tradition. But when idiots get themselves sent off in the first half, it does make the job somewhat trickier. Oh, we've got the mint choc chip kits on. And we're facing a flatback seven. Hooray. Of course we are. It's FM23. Every team plays this system. Ah, why? Why does everybody play the flatback seven? You can't cook with Dave anywhere near you because he just wants everything all the time. So this way, Dave never has to come in the kitchen, which is good. I don't, I'd even set up a shoot. I'd be happy to set up a shoot but again. Apparently it ruins the garden. How are we losing against a team that are down to 10 men? It's all going wrong. How many playoffs have I lost now? I I've lost count. I don't even know. It must be closing in on 20. <laughs> Which is worrying. There's a Scottish island where peeps go every year for two weeks. Set up an elaborate shoot system for sending beheaded birds down to the boat. Interesting. Does that count as well? Oh, look at this horrible run of form. Right, we're playing Cardiff and then Ipswich. We're both in a relegation battle. If we don't come in with two wins here, that is a problem. Right, come on, are we winning yet? Why is nothing happening? It's ever since we signed Deshaun Bernard, he's ruined it for us. First, we need to sack him. He has ruined everything. I thought it was going to be the answer, but maybe he's not. Oh, Ricky J. Jones was right there, but couldn't get his shot away. An archer play out wide. I don't think he can. And, I mean, he wouldn't get in ahead of Jones or Poku anyway, even if he could. So we'll probably go to Big Johnson back up top. And Jones on the left, Poku on the right. The back seven tactic that the AO uses is a nightmare. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Right, come on, Ricky. Run at them. Run at them. Look at him run at them. It's a weird attempt of a cross, but it... I mean, that's a wonder goal. What a way to get your first goal for Peterbury United. Harvey White... Of an absolute thunderous goal. Hmm. There's your posture, posture check. Let's have a look at this again from the other angle because it is stunning. Jones with the strange little looping cross thing. One touch from White and then just wallops it. Absolutely wallops it. To put us 1-0 up and hopefully get us back into the promotion mix. Oh, come on, Ricky! We're back. We are back. 
Come on! 3 0. That's not to say it's not a good game. Like I keep saying, it is the best version of Football Manager they've ever done. It just didn't address the things we wanted it to address. Do you think SI spent all their budget on getting the UEFA licenses? I don't think they spent all the budget on that. I suspect they were very expensive, though. So I imagine there is a part of it that's that. Yeah. But like I said in the video, I can see why they don't. Because people would moan about the in between versions then, wouldn't they? I just play a silly character on the internet. I'm a very intelligent man. I need to start playing. Uh, my last FM save was leading Schalke on a few years of Bundesliga domination. I mean, we've all we've all been there. We've all done very well at Schalke. No one's ever been fired at Schalke after spending loads of money on Schalke merch. No one. Why are we losing again? Ipswich are rubbish. What is going on? Peterborough United are sinking without a trace. That's nice to see in the commentary. Oh, my word. We're not even going to get in the playoffs at this rate. I'm berating. I don't berate very often. Four-three-three time. Yeah, maybe. And now Johnson Clark Harris has been sent off. What is going on? <laughs> oh. Oh. You don't want Premier League yet. You're not ready. I do. Because we won't get money this summer if we don't get promoted. We won't get promoted next year. We need to go up, get the money, come down, then go back up again. That's the only way we get established in the Premier League. What have I just seen happen? Ugh! Salazic's been brilliant all season. Ipswich are in a relegation battle. Berating again. I've got the water wind. Go on, Ricky, do a football. Okay, I'll allow it. Need to buy packs to get better players. I wish that was an option. I'd be all over that. I'm, I very skillfully didn't define what getting back into it means either. So this doesn't count. Oh, the comeback is on. More! Like you, I like you. So Archer can play as part as a as a lone striker, apparently. Mm. Oh, look, the player they stole from us in the summer that I wanted. Well, at least I don't have to get my nips out. Oh, that's been a terrible month. We're playing against Ronnie Edwards' parent club in Newcastle. I mean, this is not the game to change the tactics. We're going to lose anyway. So actually, we might do the diamond against Newcastle and then change it for Stoke because we're going to lose against Newcastle anyway. If any, if I've learned and if I've learned how football manager works over the years, there's a very good chance that run of form has been entirely caused by the fact we play Newcastle in the FA Cup now. So we might just be fine the other side anyway, but I'm not going to change the tactic in a game that we're going to lose anyway. Everybody's dancing in the moonlight. It could be 2000. What year was this song? It was around, We're winning against Newcastle. I hate this game. What is going on? We've been so rubbish for so long. Now we're going to beat Newcastle without changing anything. I like songs about ships. I do. I have a, I have a genre. And that is it. Oh, that's a lovely pass. That's a lovely goal. We're 2-0 up against Newcastle. Come on. Beautiful. I'm so good at football manager. It's not really fair on everyone else who plays it. I just make it look so easy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm trying to pick my next song. I'm having a look through. Ear beating Newcastle. We're really great. So now what on earth do I do for the Stoke game? Because I had a plan. I guess now we have to keep the diamond because we've thumped Newcastle with it. 
obviously, the only reason we were losing is because we had the Newcastle game coming up. It's typical football manager big cup game stuff. It was it was never about the tactic. It was always about the cup run. I hate it. I'll be gone. <clears throat> Here we go. Come on. What? Ooh, we're away against Chelsea, so we're going to keep losing. We're in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. How has this accidentally happened? Are we going to win the FA Cup? We're in Europe next year, boys and girls. Or can I? Mm. Not even watching the match. Are we? Of course we're not winning. Brilliant. Stupid football manager. I, I don't understand. Right, can we do a football, please? Rugby wing, thank you very much for the prime gaming. Do, 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 do. Sing along. I can't. I can't sing. I can't ruin it. Jack Marriott. It's only his fourth goal this season. He has been rubbish this year. I am not ready with another song. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't the song I picked. This has just moved on. I don't know what it was. We've got a penalty. Oh! Come on! This is going to be the last match of the stream. I will be streaming again tomorrow night, though. Maybe even tomorrow afternoon. It depends how much I get done in the morning. Um, like I say, I've got a Chelsea video to record, though, so it's most likely I'll be streaming tomorrow night. Um, but we will have the highlights of this stream out on the Lujo 2 at 12 o'clock tomorrow. So if you're not yet subscribed to the Lujo 2, for goodness sake! Subscribe to it. It's great. Um, we're trying to earn Chris a Christmas bonus at the moment. So you know what to do, boys and girls. Watch everything on the Lujo 2. Get Chris a nice big Christmas bonus. So he can get the biggest turkey you've ever seen. Cameron Archer. 22 goals this season. Beautiful. Um, and of course, we'll have a new Chelsea video out at 4 o'clock. There's some more one-off videos coming out on the main channel as well this week. And I am going to be hoping to stream every day this week. The one we might not do is Saturday, because as previously mentioned, I am meeting the Minions on Saturday. So we might not stream on Saturday. We should be streaming every other day this week. So make sure you're followed with your notifications on here. Make sure you subscribe to the two channels over on YouTube. And uh, we've, even, we've even got a vlog out this week on the vlog channel, which might be getting renamed to Lelujo Vlogs again soon, because that was the only YouTube handle I could get. So there's a decision to be made there. We might be bringing everything back under the Lujo umbrella. Oh, Cameron Archer! Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we were right to stick with the diamond after all. I always, I always had faith. I knew the diamond was the way. Thought it's a lovely pass from Marriott as well. Is that a hat trick for Archer today? What a man! He's looking forward to being back in the Premier League next year. Whether it's for us or somebody else. Uh, we didn't need that. Are we going to finish it? Can we finish this game? Hmm. Let's not watch the replay. How we do we... Uh, I mean, automatic promotion is still a possibility. We've got a game in hand. If we have a really good stream tomorrow night, we've got a FA Cup quarterfinal against Chelsea and an opportunity to go automatically up to the Premier League. What an, what an outcome that would be for the stream tomorrow. That would be amazing. Oh, Cal Watts is like six foot five and misses a header like that. I don't understand. This match might not finish before the song. We might get the first few bars of Gangster's Paradise because this match is going on so long. Which is ridiculous. I can't even see it now. It was definitely on here before. I think I've scrolled past it. If we don't win, I'm going to be absolutely fuming. I can't see Gangster's Paradise anymore. That's a sh There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> you weren't expecting this, were you? Oh, God. Stoke are going to equalise. I'll never listen to this song again. Oh. 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 How is it still going on? We've played five of four minutes. 
What is happening? Blow the whistle, referee. Oh, that was much harder than it needed to be. That's what she said. Um, right, there's your league table to finish things off. And uh, yeah, I already told you where to find all of the things. Go find all of the things.